onto the stage. Hello, good morning, everybody. Hi, good morning. Good morning. So I'm going to give you guys just a few. Oh, you're going to have to mute. So let's give everybody a few minutes to jump on. I think you have to mute it and turn it all the way down. Okay, hi Ethel, how are you? We're missing um, but the Good, thank you. you. Hmm. Yeah, I will try to go uh, tomorrow. Okay, sounds good. And I have your sign, so I need to, to leave them at the office. Okay, sounds good. Well, the party's behind us today. <laughs> it's picture day today at the office. Um, since oh, plus we don't have too many, well, we are gonna record this. So for anybody that watches this later, um, anybody that missed picture day today, we are setting up picture days. We're trying to do it once a month. So if you missed it today, if you missed it last month, make sure you sign up for October. October would be the next um, picture day. So man, it's September, you guys. Happy 1st of September. Um, the year is almost done. We're, yeah, we're in the last quarter of the year. So this is exciting. Oh, uh, talk to Maria. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, crazy picture day. Um, 1st of September, this is awesome. This last quarter, guys, you need to focus on, like it's just the last quarter of the year. So there's a lot to um, start preparing for. We have the big holidays coming up, um, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, okay? Um, really, as soon as the last quarter starts, you need to be prepping for your last, your last two months and your first month of next year. That's really where your planning phase should be at, at this point, at least. So um, if you haven't figured out what you're gonna gift your clients, you need to figure that out. Why? Because you need to start budgeting. Um, that stuff is not super cheap. Um, you need to make sure that you're saying thank you to all your past clients. Um, you need to say thank you to anybody that's referred you business say thank you to all your partners. So this goes into basically just the, the planning phase of what's to come. Um, typically what I like to do, um, I, those, that's, that's basically what I do, As I say thank you to anybody and every, everybody that had something to do with my success in the past year. Um, my growth, you know, what I'm doing, I love them, I care about them, you know, whatever it is, friends, family, like I do my best to at least touch everybody, you know, that's touched me in my life in November, December. It's just, it's just the time of, you know, everyone letting everyone know how much they love and appreciate um, each other. So do your best to start prepping for that now. You don't have to spend a whole, whole lot, but you do have to put some thought into it. So I will give you a couple of examples of things that I've done before. The very first year that I started in real estate, I only did a greeting card. That's really all I could afford at the time. I wasn't making a whole bunch of money and it was the thought that counts. And it also allowed me to start my, um, my contact list. So from the very first time, it was really just friends and family because I didn't have too many past clients. I maybe had like four to six. It, it wasn't a whole lot. So um, just thank you to everybody. And I sent them out greeting cards and that was it. Um, 
the next year, I don't know. I think I did, I did, um, oh, I did magnets. I did magnets the next year. So you can go to a website and put your, your business card up on top of this magnet and then the magnet comes with like cookie recipes or um house cleaning tips or a calendar or something like that so it was um it was an and it was a nice way to give something of value you know like a little cookbook or tips or whatever um but also have my information and then that magnet for anybody that uses those magnets that stays on their refrigerator all year long so you have to think of how many people are likely to see that magnet throughout the year. Um, to me, it was a very good investment. Also a really nice gift. I like, I like functional gifts. I like gifts that you can, you know, that, that adds some value into your life. And so, you know, even just the little cookbook, that's what I did then. Um, I think I'm trying to think of what I did the next time I might've done like cookies or some type of dessert. Um, Last year, I think it was last year, I did, I bought stuffing boxes and I did a, on the tag, I think it said, I hope your holidays are stuffed with love and joy and cheer or something like that. And it was just like a little box of stuffing. So um, these are the kinds of things that, you know, obviously it, it every, to, to each his own creativity. And if you're not comfortable in this space, talk to a girl, <laughs> talk to a female and she will help you out. Um, these are the little cute, cheesy, um, just things that we think about and we really appreciate. So I don't know exactly how the men feel about it. Alvaro, maybe you can help us. I don't, I really don't know how you guys feel about it, but I know as women, we get a kick out of it. It's a really good idea. <laughs> yeah, how do you, how do you feel about it when you get something kind of like cheesy like that? Does it work? Yeah, it does. It works. Yes. Does yeah, it, it works. think of that person or like how how does it? Yes, yes, it does definitely. I mean, that, that shows that shows uh, that people that you know they keep you in your mind. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, I think that's, you know, something that comes with gifting. So my, my topic today was actually on, um, on realtor etiquette, kind of all around realtor etiquette. And I know we kind of jumped into this side tangent of gifts and Christmas and all of that, but it really does have something to do with all of this. So really, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> So it really does have a lot to do with how we communicate with our clients year round. And this is part of the communication. The gifting is part of the communication. Um, so we want to keep ourselves in front of our clients year round and we want to do it in a good way. <laughs> we don't want to be the agent that every time you see them, you feel like, like, oh, uh, they're going to try to sell me something or ah, yeah, but let's hear what they have to say now, yes. you know, because a lot of times that can be like, especially even just our family, you know, and we don't want to feel like that around them. We don't want them to feel like that ar around us. So how do we, how do we make it to where our presence is, you know, wanted and accepted and what we have also a value, they can kind of see it. So it's learning how to communicate with your client. Okay. Um, so some of the basics, let me grab my notes real quick. I have a couple of notes here. So some of the basics when you're communicating with your clients are, hours of communication. So the first thing I'll start with is, does anybody have an idea between what hours of the day are acceptable for you to call or email or text your client? In the afternoon? In the afternoon? What would be like the earliest and what would be the latest that you yeah, could call? Work or I think 10. the earliest would be like around, 10, 12, mm -hmm. 12 probably. 
Okay. No later than five. Okay. Oh. What's your guess? <laughs> yeah, I was saying like ten, no later than around seven or six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm glad you guys are within the range. <laughs> you're within you're within the range. That's good. Um, so you really the out the the sweet spot hours are gonna be eight a.m. to eight p.m. Don't contact your clients before then, and don't contact your clients after then. It is all day. Um, but the nice thing is, you don't have to talk to them until eight p.m you really don't have to you can set up a good schedule for yourself if you have a good schedule in place for yourself you should be able to get done with most of it early the 8 p.m days they will happen every once in a while but you should be able to get your hours down to like eight to five okay um but you guys will start to see this. It's not, it doesn't only apply to you all as realtors. It also applies to your clients and what you allow to be acceptable from them. Mm -hmm. So another thing is if they are calling you or texting you before or after 8 PM, just don't respond. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as not answering and letting them leave you a voice message and you will get to it at the next appropriate work hour. Okay, this is, um, this is what I call training your clients. Okay, we want to communicate, but we want and we want to communicate effectively. I think one of the biggest lessons that I had in real estate was also and, and this is something that I still go through now and I'm still trying to figure out is like the balance work life. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that that doesn't exist in real estate. <laughs> I can completely see why. Um, but I do think that you can at least put boundaries in place where, where, where it's more appropriate. So before 8 a.m. in the morning, that's a very early call. Most people are going to at least be they, they might be up before 8 a.m but that's their them time you mm -hmm. know like that should be your time to you know prep yourself for your day um to be with your family to eat breakfast like that's your you time then hit eight o'clock or nine o'clock a.m whatever you choose to do eight or nine then then fine but you know before then take that time to um, to, to just settle yourself in, especially for you moms that are at home with the kids right now and prepping them. I mean, you, you have to prep them for school. They still have to sit in front of their computer and make sure that they're talking to their teachers. So I know you all have to go through that in the morning also. So take the time to do that, but come nine or 10 o'clock in the morning, get on it, get on it. And this will help you to get everything done before so, so you're not working so late also like the administrative stuff you should be able to get most of that done during the day um, when you're talking to title and lenders when are they in the office they're in the office between 8 to 5 p.m so if you're more or less on their schedule you should be able to get most of your work done during those hours you will always have the clients that you need to meet after work during the weekdays because they work those hours you'll always have those you'll always have the clients that are available on the weekends and you have to work on the weekends that's a given you will have that but what i'm trying to explain is most of your work should be done between eight to five so that you can keep from five on to you and your family for the most part you'll still get the phone calls from people that are getting out of work, you'll still have the showings, but you know, it's, it's a lot more containable. And I, I wanted to talk about this too, because real estate can be very stressful and the less stressed that we are, um, the better we can communicate with our clients. Also, I definitely have noticed that whenever I'm going through a stressful period, my communication with my clients is not the best. And it's cause I'm so busy trying to figure this other stuff out mm -hmm. in my life that matters. It might be the kids, it might be, you know, 
uh, the house. It might be, you know, you might be in the middle of a big move or change or something and, and it affects you. Um, so it's good to have these guidelines in place so you can make sure that you that you always know like, okay, at least I'm getting to work at this time. At least I'm getting up and I'm going to work and I'm, and I'm getting there by this time. At least I know that I'm working Monday through Friday. At least I know, you know, whatever it is that, that you need to understand how when you're moving the best, this is what the best looks like. And then when I'm having my off moments, this is what they look like. Now, what do I need to make sure that I'm focusing on next time I'm off? that doesn't fall off the plate like look for these signs you know um let me see what else i had in mind when you guys are talking to your clients write everything down okay if you are in any type of training with me you'll always hear me say write notes take notes write this down I can't say it enough. I can't stress it enough. The amount of information that comes to us as realtors is an excessive amount of information. So don't trick yourself into believing that your brain can hold all of this information because it can't. You will forget something. You will forget an important listing appointment. You will forget, yes, you will forget an important listing appointment. You will forget a photo shoot you will forget you will forget a showing you'll forget a showing you will forget some something that can give you a horrible review first of all <laughs> um you don't want anyone putting anything out there like that so really it's your name and it's your brand you are now a brand you are now a name brand and you need to conduct yourself as such at all times, okay? This means, <laughs> you guys are not going to like this. When you go to the grocery store, please be decent for a grocery store. <laughs> you can wear chanclas, you can wear chanclas, but be decent for a grocery store, whatever that may mean. So it probably means, you know, don't be dressed like you're at the beach if you're at a grocery store. If you're at a beach, dress for a beach. If you're in an office, dress for an office. If you're out showing homes, dress for showing homes. So just dress appropriate. There's, um, I can't get super duper deep and technical with what this appropriateness is but i would say google it google it for your gender google it for your gender and google it for your age mm -hmm. okay and and this isn't this isn't to knock anybody it really isn't um it's it's just so everybody is aware that our first impression counts we cannot redo a first impression um we had an agent in here not too long ago and he was talking about um, his experience in the car business. And he was talking about, you know, first impressions and how important they are. And it, it really is, if you're in sales, your first impression is everything and you don't know when you're gonna get that next client. It could be at the grocery store. And that's why I say, when you go to the grocery store, dress appropriate for the grocery store, because that might be where you get your next client. That doesn't mean that you have to be in your, your polo work uniform all day, every day, but at least be appropriate for a first impression with a potential client. This is how we stay working 24 seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. If there's one thing that you should be doing 24 seven, it's looking for potential clients. Mm -hmm. Okay. So quick timeout. Hey, uh, there's just one lady missing. Do you want to wait for her a little bit longer? Angie Martinez. Um, let me ask Anai. You, got it. Yeah. you <laughs> have a name number? I do. I can call her. Can you please? You got, you got Thank it. you. you um, Okay, so that's really my take on that. Um, and that's why it's important. It's not because 
it's not because I've seen anybody dressing any type of way. Please don't think this came up because I saw something. I really just wanted to put it out there as information because um, I think uh, uh, what I hear a lot of the new agents ask me actually, and it's what reminded me, the new ones that are like straight out of high school or like the really young ones, they ask me, hey, I'm gonna go show houses, what do I wear? Hey, I'm going to go to picture day. What do I wear? And they, they will come and ask us these questions, which that's when I it sparked my head like, oh, well, you know, this is a very new realm for people to get into because there's so many different photo opportunities. There's so many different um, first engagement opportunities that you always have to stay ready. So thank you to the new guys that came and asked like, you know, what exactly do I wear? How do I dress? What shoes? Because that's really what was like, yeah, we need to make sure everyone's on, on top of this. Um, ladies, 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 you are all so beautiful. Know that, first of all, you are all beautiful. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how tall or short or wide or thin you are. You are all so beautiful. When you dress, be mindful to your shape, okay? And all I mean by this is we get to dress different according to our shape. There's certain things on a thinner woman that look more appropriate on a wider woman or less appropriate on a wider woman, more appropriate on a taller woman or less appropriate on a shorter woman, vice versa. Again, I'm not going to get deep into it. Google it. I guarantee you will have some really good tips on there. I say this because I did it. I had a lot of questions when I started about what was appropriate to wear to, to wear. What, what can I wear where? A lot of it is also the shoes. And this applies to both men and women. Shoes can be very uncomfortable. And if we wear them at the wrong times, it becomes inappropriate because we can't do our job to the best of its ability. That's how and why it will be inappropriate. So men, you have dress shoes that you know hurt your feet when you wear them for more than two hours. You know this. So don't be wearing those to a home showing that you know is gonna take more than two hours. Don't wear them if you're gonna be on three showings back to back with clients, a buyer's rep, a closing, and you're gonna be out all day in them. Yeah. Our feet is what get us from point A to point B, okay? Mm -hmm. They're as important as the car that we're driving. So treat your feet mm -hmm. like your car. Your car, your car is your mobile office. Treat your car good. Make sure that you stay on top of the maintenance. Make sure that you stay on top of your registration. Make sure that you're not running on low fuel. These are some of the things that are gonna keep us ready for our day to day, but also keep us safe. Ladies, I love my ladies. Please be careful. Don't drive around without any gas. We do not want you getting stranded in the middle of nowhere. And then like we just, and I say ladies because we're just more prone to certain things. So just please be careful. Don't put yourself in a position where you're gonna be vulnerable and at somebody else's hands, okay? Um, what else do we have in our notes? Dress according to the weather, okay? Just like we don't wanna wear the wrong shoes for the wrong occasion, we also don't want to wear the wrong, wrong attire for the wrong occasion. This, especially here in El Paso, it goes both ways. Don't dress too warm when it's too hot outside. We need to keep ourselves safe, first of all, and healthy. So if it's hot outside and you're all bundled up, I say it from experience because I've done it. I wish I knew all this stuff. No, I've done all of these dumb things that you would think, well, yeah. No, I've done them, I've done them. So, don't overdress if it's hot outside, you know, uh, make sure that you keep yourself hydrated. You should always have water bottles in your car, always. Um, if it's cold, make sure that you bundle up. Winter's coming, so 
ladies and gentlemen, we can go shopping. <laughs> um, but seriously, you might need to go shopping and start getting some clothes that's more appropriate for the colder weather. Um, so if you need to do that, do that. Um, ladies, not so many open toe shoes anymore. Let's get some closed toed shoes so we can keep our feet warm. Um, plus boots are just more comfortable to walk in anyways. <laughs> so um, boot season is here. Let's get doing that. Um, and then last but not least, keep yourself well groomed. So I, you know, we think this goes without saying, but shower, shower and use soap. Mm -hmm. Use deodorant. I'm gonna say it. I'm, 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 somebody that doesn't know. <laughs> okay, shower every day. As adults, we have to shower every day. Okay, deodorant every day. We have to use deodorant every day. You were showing houses the day before. <laughs> yeah. Please take a shower. Yes, if you were showing houses the day before, Michelle said, please take a shower. And that's very true. Um, what else? What else am I missing? Perfumes and colognes. So perfumes and colognes, they're awesome, but also don't overdo it, okay? Um, this is men and women. Don't overdo it with the perfume and cologne. Um, if you're not sure if you're doing too much, ask somebody that loves you and cares about you and will tell you the truth and they'll tell you the truth. Um, or you can come to the office and ask. <laughs> I'm here Monday through Friday, <laughs> nine to one-ish. Um, but yeah, just keep your uh, scents are also something that a lot of people are very sensitive to. Honestly, I am one of those people. So I will be honest with you. Um, it's it's one of those things that can trigger migraines in me. Mm -hmm. I'm super sensitive. So if I'm around a smell that's just a little bit too strong, even if it smells really good, um, it's a very unpleasant experience for me because I'll instantly get a migraine. I'll start, my body will start feeling a certain way. So um, you also don't want to lose a client over smelling too good. That would be crazy. <laughs> so um, yeah, just be mindful. Um, I also have uh, my, my mother-in-law also, she's very sensitive to smells to the point, you know, when we go to her house we're actually we don't even wear perfume like that's how how intense that is but mm -hmm. i i wouldn't go that far if you like to wear perfume or cologne wear it just be mindful of how much you're you're putting on um men if you have beards please be mindful when you eat um you'll get stuff stuck in there and if your lovely lady is not standing next to you <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to be in there, so um, be mindful after you eat. Go check yourself out. Make sure you don't got anything hanging around. <laughs> um, they're, just, they're just little things to keep in mind, and remember, this just all goes back to you know, our realtor communication and our potential first impression. We want to have the best first impression po as possible because you do not know when that next client is gonna come. You have no idea. Um, some of my best clients came at some of the most unexpected moments. I've had um, a client that I met at the nail salon and she's been an awesome client. Um, I've met clients in the grocery store. I've met clients, um, at family gatherings, you know, and, and a family member brings a friend or something and they end up needing to buy a house or whatever the case may be. I mean, you just, you just never know. So stay ready. Um, make sure that you have your communication in order again, try to train your clients to work within the times that are appropriate. And the most appropriate times are going to be like your regular business hours for the most part. That doesn't mean that you can't go outside of those hours. Um, for example, evenings, it's very likely that you're, you're going to have to go outside after the 5 p.m., like from 5 to 8. You'll have to work that every now and then. Um, but, but, you know, give yourself that time that you need for yourself to prep yourself for the day. Get yourself looking and smelling amazing. 
and and then bring yourself to work presentable and ready to go and um and and just always be polite and respectful also um you know i know that we deal with a lot of other realtors and sometimes you know there's this idea of it's me against you and we're battling it out to see who has the best who gets the best deal mm -hmm. and i really don't believe that that's what it is it it's really a realtor and another realtor and we're both working towards the same common goal we're both working towards the same common goal so so we there's no need to like battle it out every single time that we that we work either so be mindful be polite be respectful of course there's a lot that you need to learn about negotiating and we'll have plenty of trainings on that also so you guys understand what to do and what not to do when you're negotiating but negotiation doesn't mean that we don't have to be disrespectful to anybody even if they don't send you the amendments in time right <laughs> even if they don't send you the amendments in time <laughs> Yes, even if they don't send you the amendments in time. Uh, well, all right, guys. Thank you so much for coming today. I had a lot of fun with you guys. Um, <laughs> this is this is just one of those categories that we have to cover, and I'm glad you all were here to hear it. And if this information helps at all, um, you know, please. Oh, we're gonna start putting these on YouTube, so please like and subscribe, and that way you can get the notification every single time a new video goes up. So remember, we have these trainings almost daily during the week. If for whatever reason you miss a training, you'll be able to come and check it out later. All right. Until next time, you guys, I wish you all a beautiful and productive day. And I hope you go out and make a lot of money. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.